Hi Capricorn, I hope you are all really well and welcome to this general love reading for September 2022 for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. It is a general reading so that means it won't be everybody's situation. That's okay. If you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box. And do remember that the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. All right, Capricorn, let's see what is going on with you in a love connection in September 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. For the situation, we have the Knight of Wands crossed by the Wheel of Fortune. Whew, okay. Um, it feels like there's some hot and cold um, dynamic that is happening here. There's a lot of back and forth or, you know, one moment it's hot, the next moment it's cold or just some mixed signals. It's like that wheel keeps turning in different directions. Um, let's see. For your energy, we have the Eight of Cups, the Three of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. All right, so I feel like there's a situation here that you have moved away from or you have tried to emotionally detach from. Um, it's interesting though because the way that it's coming in, it feels like um, you may have walked away from something, but then it's like you're trying to make something work, like trying to come to some kind of an agreement or some kind of a compromise, or you're trying to just kind of work around certain issues, something like that. Um, but I do see you moving more towards actually standing your ground, putting your foot down in some way. I don't see this as being defensive in the in the negative way, but it's more of, okay, you know what, I need to somehow protect myself or defend myself or set some boundaries. Um, so yeah, it could be that you're trying to work with someone on something and just kind of, you know, go, going along with whatever it is that they're presenting and then you're just putting your foot down. Um, let's see for them. We have the Two of Swords, the King of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. What is going on with this person? Um, yeah, it does feel like the back and forth is more on their end, but I do also kind of see it on your side as well, but just in a different way. Um, for you, I feel like it's okay. You know what? I am... Um, moving away from this connection, but okay, you know, detaching, but let me try to see if, if we can make it work in some other way, like possibly like even, even as a friendship here. Um, but then you're like, no, <laughs> but for this other person, the back and forth is a little bit different. It feels like, um, there's something here that they either haven't decided on or that they are just being a little bit stagnant towards or they have been. However, I do see them um, with this King of Pentacles here. It's like they're wanting commitment, right? At the moment, um, I feel like you walked away or you emotionally detached from them in some way because there was this uncertainty, right? But it's like now you're trying to work with them on some level because they're showing up as this king of pentacles either either like taking care of you or um, offering you some kind of stability or giving you something but then it's like it's like they're walking away from that as well um, kind of like sneaking away almost like taking it back um, and that's when you actually put your foot down and set your boundaries. Let's see the potential outcome here. The Nine of Cups. Okay, good. So I, <laughs> I hope you guys are still watching this because um, I know it didn't sound all that great up until this moment. But with the Nine of Cups being the potential outcome, this is very, very positive. This is a very, very pleasant way to um, to end this part of the reading here. Um, we are going to clarify, but this Nine of Cups is all about a wish fulfillment and feeling emotionally fulfilled. So I do see that things are moving in that direction or that that potential is definitely there. So let's clarify. So 
So for that Knight, it's the Knight of Wands, yes, the Knight of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. Let's clarify that. All right, we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. All right. This is definitely a connection that feels like, like this is this is my person. Like this is just there's something just so either familiar about it, or there's it's interesting because as unstable as it is, there's also something that feels stable, and I'm not really sure what that what that's about. Like what is it that feels stable within the instability? But there is something here, and it could just be that um, that feeling of being at home or something like that or something that you can't even put your finger on quite yet um it's like yeah i feel like this person it's like you know the the love is there the emotions are there and it's like they're giving this to you in some way like you're you're receiving this affection or you're you're seeing this from them in some way but then it's just there's so much um, like either beating around the bush or just going at it like around and around, just not being straightforward and not just being like, all right, you know what, here it is. Um, and so that's why there's, it just feels like there's so much back and forth or just the shifts in the connection here. It's like there's certain things being done that feel like they're moving in a certain direction and then it switches. It's like though that it's like something that is started as it's like never completed kind of a thing. Um, and then it just it goes around in that cycle. Okay, let's see the eight of cups for you. Ooh, the knight of wands and the two of swords. Uh, yeah, that is the knight of wands. The knight of wands and the two of swords, right? Which they have this two of swords here and then the knight of wands is the very first um, card out. This is what you walked away from. You walked away from their two of swords. You walked away from them um, not making a decision or not taking initiative or um, possibly even walked away from something that you disagree with when it comes to their energy here. Um, you walked away from the fluctuation. You walked away from that back and forth. For some of you, this could even be about somebody who, um, you know, was either a bit of a player or, um, yeah, like was just out doing their own thing. All right. It doesn't have to be that, but there's definitely that hot and cold here. And you emotionally detached from that. Let's see the three of pentacles. Or you are. I mean, timelines, they're relevant. Okay, so for some of you, this could be um, more of current energy rather than past. So just take it as it resonates. Let's see the three of pentacles. The king of swords and temperance. Yeah, you know what? It's like you're approaching this. You're trying to, you're trying to approach this. Um, from a very like level headed space. You're trying to keep your balance. You're like, nope, I'm not gonna let myself get attached again. I'm not gonna get my hopes up. Um, I'm just kind of working with this person or working with this energy of this person and we'll see where it goes. Um, so you're just trying to stay very, very rational. Um, and I feel like you are also um, staying pretty detached here. From this person like there's something something you have come back to when it comes to this person um, like you like you haven't fully walked away there's some kind of interaction even if it's just energetically but you're you're not allowing yourself to go back to that you know to feeling emotionally attached you're and I feel like you're doing a pretty good job at keeping your balance at that um, we also yeah this could even be that you're dealing with a Sagittarius for some of you Let's see that Seven of Wands. All right, hold on, because I had a couple flip out over here. We have the Page of Pentacles, 
a permit. I don't know why I felt guided to pull three. Usually I'm just pulling two, but I did get three, so we'll see. Um, okay, so Page of Pentacles, the Hermit, which is Virgo's energy, and the Three of Swords. Okay, yeah, I, I feel like, you know, you're setting boundaries here. It, it feels like you're actually moving towards detaching from this person again, or um, just maintaining whatever detachment you've already achieved and you're doing that in order to protect yourself from getting hurt or from feeling pain so it's like it feels like you know you prefer to kind of be um, a little bit on your own here and it does feel like the reason why you're doing that is because this person might be just you know giving you very little like they're it doesn't feel like they're giving you enough okay so let's see what's actually going on with this person Two of Swords, please, for the other person here. And we have the Three of Cups and the Four of Swords. Okay, yeah, I mean, it's really going to depend. For some of you, this person has possibly had other connections as well. Like I said before, you know, if they were the player type um, and they were kind of indecisive between, you know, whether they want to have that life and have something more peaceful. Um, possibly something that they hadn't um, resolved yet within themselves when it comes to that type of a lifestyle. For others of them, that's it's not that at all. It's this person um, actually wanting to have this connection with you. For some of you, even a reconnection with you, but not really doing much about it, just being very, very passive. For a lot of them, this is because there's something that is still not healed within themselves, and this is what um, has held them back. Let's see this King of Pentacles. Because, I mean, this energy is definitely here. I mean, this it, it's like this person wants this. Um, and I see them as being the type of person who, um, you know, actually has a lot to offer here. Let's see, Ten of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. Um, could be somebody who is very focused on their finances or very focused on their work as well. Um, Almost like this person can easily distract themselves with other things in order to avoid a situation. This is getting to be exhausting for them. I feel like even them just feeling like... It's like they want to give you more, but it also overwhelms them. For whatever reason, I feel like, you know, again, it has to do with something that's not healed from the past but they see they feel that as overwhelming but they are capable of it that's the thing here they are capable of it and i do see them working on it but that overwhelms them as well and i feel like that's what leads them to that seven of swords where you know they end up taking it back i just had the king of um pentacles flip over again um so yeah Definitely somebody who wants long-term commitment here, but at the same time holding back, which is very, very frustrating. All right, let me see. Seven of Swords. And yeah, I mean, I agree with your with your stance here, 100%. Um, all right, so for the Seven of Swords, we have the Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. This person is still holding on to you. Um, they don't. They don't want to let you go. They're, but they're like sneaking away from what it is that they're building here with you. It's like it freaks them out or something, or it just overwhelms them, and so they 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 then like move away from that, and that's what is um, pushing you to set these boundaries or to you know declare what you accept and what you don't accept. 
and I feel like you know you're you're with withdrawing here but again you know I do see this nine of cups here it's like such a twist I'm getting like for a lot of you or for some of you um, or maybe even just one of you specifically like a specific message it's like um, this person either has like a really big house or is possibly very well off financially I just turned a bill for some reason. All right, let's see. Nine of cups for the potential outcome, please. The page of wands, the five of swords, and the emperor. Yeah, I feel like the message here is pretty clear because um, I do see this also as guidance for you. Um, standing up for your own self, basically. Standing up for yourself, putting your foot down, um, you know, not, not tolerating behavior that is less than, right? You don't want a page. You want that king to come back. And this person definitely does have that in them, you know, it's, um, and, and I do see them showing up here as the emperor as well, but I don't see that energy coming through from them until you actually get into this five of swords. And, and I don't mean that in the negative way, because I know there's a lot of negative um, interpretations here for the five of swords, but I'm seeing this as you, you know, looking out for your best interest doing what is best for you, putting yourself first, which I do see is what you're doing. But that is what actually um, brings in this wish fulfillment. And it brings in this emperor, which is what you want. You don't want, the, you don't want a page. So whether it be this person transforming into this emperor, because I do see them having that in them, as I said, or whether it be another emperor. Okay, depends. All right, Capricorn, if this resonated, please do give me a thumbs up and let's get a final message for you. And we have delight. Count your blessings and enjoy life. Take pleasure in simple things. Always expect the best. Yeah, so just take this message as it resonates. It doesn't have to be specifically concerning this connection, okay? It could just be that some of you need to hear this. Um, to focus a little bit on the positives in your life. So yeah, Capricorn, those were your messages. I thank you so, so much for watching and much love.